Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at ES6 classes. All right, so classes are now available in plain old JavaScript. We don't need TypeScript or anything fancy like that. Um, pretty easy to use. If you've ever used PHP, it's very similar, uh, or something like Java, uh, or some other, um, some other object-oriented programming with classes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in, and I'm going to create a class called user and in our class we're going to need a constructor now constructors are methods that will run when your class is instantiated okay when your object is created and they can take in parameters okay so this user is going to take in a username it's going to take in an email and it's going to take a password all right, and then what we want to do is we want to take these passed in values and assign them to properties of the class. We can do that by saying this dot username, setting it to the username that's passed in. Okay, we want to do the same thing with email. And we want to do the same with password. All right. So that's the constructor. Now we can also create methods in our class. A method is just a function that belongs to a class. So let's say we have one called register. And all we're going to do here is just do a console log. We're going to take the user's name. So this dot username. And we're going to just concatenate a string. Is now registered. Oops. Okay, so we have a class, we have some properties, and we have a method. So let's go ahead and use this class. To do that, we're going to create a variable. I'm going to use let, and let's call this variable Bob. It's going to represent a user, so we're going to say new user, and then we need to pass in some data. One is the username, one is the email. and one is the password which in real life would be encrypted all right now if we save that and load it up nothing's going to happen because we just instantiated we just created the bob object we're not using it if we want to use it what we could do is call the register method okay so we'll say bob dot register and save that let's reload and we get Bob is now registered all right so you simply take the variable that you use to instantiate the object and you can call any method you want on it now we can also have what's called a static method all right so to do that we just need to use the keyword static and let's create a method called count users and all we're going to do here is console log uh, we will just say there are 50 users all right now certain methods can be used statically and some can't for instance register you wouldn't want static because you you need to instantiate an object in order to do it all right so we need to create a user in order to register a user this however is going to be the same no matter what it's just going to echo out this uh, there are 50 users so we can make this static and if it's static you don't have to instantiate it so let me just comment these out and then all we need to do to call the static method is say the name of the class user and then say dot count users all right so we'll save that we'll run it and we get there are 50 users all right so that's the the very basics of classes and objects now we can also inherit or extend classes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another class called member and I want to extend the user class so I'm going to say extends user all right now this is also going to have a constructor Okay, and it's going to take in the same stuff that the user takes in. So I'm going to just copy that. All right, and then it's also going to take in another property called member package. 
All right, now we need to set up our properties and we could do this again. We could just take this and put it down here, but there is an easier way and that is by using the super method. Okay, so if we say super and then we pass in username, email, password, that's going to do the same thing as if we were to do this. Now we do have an extra one here, member package, so we do have to assign that. So we'll say this dot package equals member package. All right. And then what we'll do is let's create a method called get package. And what we'll do is console dot log and we'll get the username. And let's concatenate onto that. And then in here we should just be able to say this dot package. Okay, now to use this, we'll go outside of the class and let's create a variable called Mike and we'll set him to be a new member. All right, now inside here we're going to pass in the usual, the username, the uh, email, the password, and the package. We'll say standard. Okay, now we have this member. Let's see if we can say Mike dot get package. Save that, reload. And we get Mike is subscribed to the standard package. All right, so that's how you can inherit a class. Now we can also call uh, methods from up here in the user class. Let's say register. So we'll change. Actually, I'll just comment that out. And we'll say Mike dot register reload, and we get Mike is now registered. All right, so that's how classes work, and that's how inheritance works. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at template literals.